Welcome back. We associate bats as things that fly around in creepy movies or add a scare factor in Halloween decorations, but a new exhibit at the Grand Rapids Public Museum called Masters of the Night shows us just how beneficial they are. Join us to explain more about this exhibit is Christy Bender. Good morning, Christy. Good morning. We are so excited at the Grand Rapids Public Museum to be hosting Bats Masters of the Night opening September 18th. And just like you said, this exhibit really is going to bring bats out of the dark. We're going to share that the mysteries surrounding them really aren't true and that they're gentle and beneficial creatures. I, th I think I really need to go see this to actually believe everything that you're saying, but I know they are. I've actually done some interviews with people who do say how beneficial they are. I'm one of those people that need to get past those myths and all of that. So uh, what types of things will this, will this uh, exhibit have? I'm seeing some kids with big bat ears on and that sort of thing. And where will it be actually in the museum? This exhibit will be located on our second floor and it is included with general admission tickets. So uh, for anyone visiting the museum, they'll be able to check this out for no additional cost. And there'll be lots of hands-on interactives. Great for the whole family. Of course, kids love to be hands-on as they learn about things such as bats. But just like you said, you know, adults, a lot of us aren't so sure about bats. And so being able to, to get in there and, and interact and learn a little bit more about them can help maybe put more of us at ease. I know I've been having a ton of fun really learning about how unique they're the only mammals that fly uh, in the different ways that they live. So in the exhibit, you can expect to learn about echolocation, so how they communicate and fly in the dark, as well as how they eat, how they live in caves, uh, and how they migrate. And all of it is very fascinating. Wonderful. So you have a special member preview. Of course, lots of benefits to be being a member at the museum, but what's the member preview all about? So members get first access to this exhibit. We'll have uh, the museum open for them at 9 a.m. on Saturday, September 18th, the day the exhibit opens. So before the general public gets to jump in there. And of course, uh, you might realize that this is also during the time of Art Prize. And the museum will have a special member benefit during Art Prize where our members will be able to visit the Popnology exhibit that's been here since the summer for free from September 16th to October 3rd. So it's really the best time to be a member all year long. And I know we were just there two weeks ago, we took Bronson, he'd been asking to go because it's such a wonderful blend of the way our city used to be, the way things are gonna be, and kind of how things like this science and nature are involved with our everyday life too, don't you agree? Yes, we really, you know, are here to provide science, history, and culture. So we're a broad museum in the community and like you uh, mentioned, being there recently, kids love coming back and exploring the exhibits that we co consistently have, as well as the traveling ones. So we're ever changing uh, and it's a, a great family filled day. And I think people need to realize this is inexpensive family fun if you are a Kent County resident. Yes, yeah, so Kent County, absolutely every day reduced admission. It's only $5 for a Kent County adult to get into the museum. And that price includes the bat exhibit. And for kids 17 and younger in Kent County, it's free admission every single day, including the BATS exhibit. Yeah, it's really cool. So thank you so much. We'll head back down there to check this out. I'm sure Bronson will have lots of questions about the BATS. So thanks so much for your time. Thank you. Absolutely. So BATS, Masters of the Night, taking place right up at Public Museum, coming up very soon, opens up September 18th. It is included with your general admission uh, to the tickets. Go to grpm.org to check this out. It's on the second floor.